Hello YouTube and especially all you content creators out there. My name is Ryan and in this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how I work with generators and animated titles in vertical oriented timelines in Final Cut Pro. Now we all know that vertical video files are becoming more and more popular, especially on social media platforms like say Instagram with its reels. Now, if you're filming on the platform itself, you can do it in the vertical orientation. You can do edits, add filters, and even do text overlays right there. However, sometimes when we're creating content for that platform or other uses, say a vertical display in the lobby of a hotel or something else that's an untraditional format, we have to take footage that we have filmed outside of mobile devices and then edit them in a third-party editor, in this case, Final Cut Pro. So now let me show you the problem you might be running into if you're working with titles or generators on a vertical timeline. So we've got the vertical timeline selected here. We're gonna jump over to titles and generators. So I'm scrolling down here to IG, a folder I have for things that I might use on Instagram Reels, and I'm gonna select this horizontal-oriented text animation, and I'm going to try to use it on a vertical timeline. So when I drop into place, you can see the text is limited by the parameters set for the vertical orientation. Now, sometimes you're going to have the ability to manipulate like a scale all feature within these elements that will allow you to change the parameters within the frame itself. So let's jump back into Final Cut. So under here, this is Publish Parameters. A Scale All option is not available for this particular title. And if I go over here underneath the, compo uh, the compositing, if I go under Scale All under Transform, it's going to simply scale the entire frame. Now, what ideally we'd want to be doing is going down into something like a crop and basically extending the crop outside of where the text is. So this space over here might say show the rest of the text, and we would want to be able to push the crop further outside over into here, revealing the remainder of the text. Unfortunately, that's not an option, and this happens a lot when using titles that are animated particularly and generators. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to give you an example of what I was just talking about. This is a particular particular text animation. As you can see here, again, these are all from Motion Array. Um, so these are downloadable if you have a subscription to that service. But again, this should work for any titles and generators that you may be trying to use. So over here, we have this horizontal oriented text animation. Again, I'm going to drop this title onto the frame. And as you can see, it does the same thing. However, with this one, if I go under the published parameters, there's a scale all that allows me to retract the text to within the frame and it will play as it should. Now, I believe this is a feature that may have been created in motion because the vast majority of my titles, I've spent hours doing this, digging through all the controls, and you can't manipulate titles this way very often. The same issue happens with generators. I'll go ahead and delete this. I'm simply going to scroll down here and another one for Instagram. And these are infographics using, say, human form. We'll drop one of these into play and we have the same thing. It goes beyond the edge of the vertical parameters. Now, this is the same type of thing. I can go over here and try to do a scale all. And if I do it, it does the same thing that the text did. Now, this one particular animation or generator does have a similar feature what I showed you in the first text drop where if I select this, but I click off of the transform layer, I have these additional tools. Now this will allow me to scale the artwork within the frame, similar to the scale all that I used previously. And this handle right here, let me delete that because it's in the way. I'll grab this little toolbar right here. This allows me to pivot the generator within the frame. Now, again, this is kind of exclusive to this particular generator. Most of the ones I have don't have this element, which means just like text, I can't control how much of it's visible on a vertical timeline. So now that we've talked about and I've demonstrated the problem that I have been experiencing, I want to talk about three solutions that I stumbled upon while trying to look for a solution to this issue. The first was simply using a third-party plugin. Now, it does require an added expense, but the advantage is that it works natively with Final Cut, and it has built-in text animations, generators, transitions, that sort of thing. The 
other problem, though, is that it won't allow you to use all of the titles and generators you may already own. So you are limited to using what's provided by the software. So you do have a solution to your problem, but it doesn't allow you to grandfather in your existing artwork that you may already really like and are familiar with using. So that wasn't really a viable solution to the problem that I've been experiencing. The second solution some YouTubers and online forums uh, mentioned was basically editing the original generator or title in Apple's motion software. You navigate to what you want to use, right click on it and go open in motion or edit in motion. Now this does require a lot more time. You're going to need to be familiar with the motion platform if you aren't already. And it really becomes a problem if you want to work with hundreds of different text or genera generator files that you may already have. So I didn't feel that for a broad scope of use, especially trying to work with files you may have already downloaded as we discussed previously, that this is a really good way of going about it. The third option is really not designed for this particular solution. If you're building from the ground up in the vertical orientation, this is not really going to be advantageous. But if you've already started a project that you're editing, say, in the traditional landscape format, or you have a project you've already completed that you now want to make a vertical, this might be right up your alley. Basically, what you're going to do is the built-in software is going to allow you to duplicate the project into a new format. And Final Cut's going to do its best to keep all of the elements as closely oriented to how you originally designed it, but into the new format as possible. But that is also going to present problems with titles and generators, but I'll demonstrate it for you now anyway. So now we're back in Final Cut and we're going to go to this project I've titled Regular. Double click on it and as you can see, it's more of a traditional 1080p project with the same background in play. We're going to navigate back to titles and generators, scroll down to quotes and titles and grab the same one I used previously, but this time it's going to be designed for this particular orientation. So I'm not going to fill the whole timeline, but I just want to show you for demonstration purposes that it does work as it should. Now what we're going to do since we've done that is jump back over to the projects panel. We're going to go to the one that we've titled regular and I'm going to right click on it and go to duplicate project as. In here, we'll select the video format as vertical, since that's what we're using for demonstration purposes. We're going to make sure that we select the box that says Smart Conform. That's going to be the automation that's going to try to recalibrate everything for the new orientation. And then we'll go with 1080 by 1920, in this case for, say, an Instagram reel. And then I'm going to do this regular IG, so Instagram. And we're going to click OK. Now this is going to be a pretty easy process for the software because there's a very short background clip and only a text animation, but I'm going to show you the problem that you would experience using this format if you already had a project that used generators and text titles. So back over here now, you can see that it's created this other project called Regular IG, and you can see even from the thumbnail that's vertical, we'll double click, and as you can see, Everything's been converted to the vertical formatting, but the text is still presenting the problem. Now, this will do the same thing if you're using a generator. The software simply won't manipulate these layers in this way, and it's because the problem exists for the format. And if you do watch a lot of the videos that are out there on how to convert traditional orientation to vertical projects, they will tell you if you've done anything with animations or anything with graphics, you're going to have to redo those layers. So it is an interesting and useful feature inside Final Cut, but it's really not a solution here, particularly as we mentioned, if you're designing from the ground up in the vertical orientation. Besides, if it did work, it would require you to edit everything in a horizontal format, trying to envision how it would look in vertical, then convert it just to get around this feature or this shortcoming inside Final Cut. So now let's go on to the solution to the problem, at least how I've found it. So back here, we're going to go ahead and just get rid of the project that we just created, and we're going to go back to the vertical orientation. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project inside the same event, and we're going to select a resolution that matches the highest that we would need for the project. So let's do that now. I'm simply going to right click, create a new project. And in this case, I'm going to put horizontal abbreviation because that's what we're trying to get around. And I'm going to introduce, I'm going to choose a traditional format of 1080p here and click OK. 
now that we have this created, the first thing we're going to do is go under edit, go down to insert generator and choose gap. And then for demonstration purposes, purposes, I'm going to drag this out to about 30 seconds, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on the timeline here. And I'll talk about why I choose to use a gap generator as the base layer in just a moment. Now we're going to navigate back into the same place we did before and grab the same quote just to keep things consistent. And I'm going to run this out to the 30 seconds or so here. Now what I'm going to do is right click only on the text later and create a new compound clip. And a good way to think about this is the word clip. It's basically going to take a title or a generator and make a clip out of it, which will kind of lock it into the ratio that it's designed to accommodate. And when we use it later, it'll work a lot more like a traditional clip that we've used, say, for the background layer. So in this, for this purposes, we'll just leave this called horizontal clip and click OK. Now that it's created a compound clip and it's highlighted yellow, I'm going to click Command C to copy it, jump back over to this vertical frame and hit Command V to paste it and drag it back. Now that it's treating it like a more of a traditional clip, you can see that the parameters are where we want them. And then we can go back through and click transform and we can drag this if we want it bigger, if we want it smaller, we can use the traditional tools over here to the right as well, but it's gotten around the problem of it auto cropping to the edges of the vertical format. So now that we know it works, let me discuss why I recommend using the gap clip as the base layer to put the text layer on top to make it a compound clip. So if we go back over to the horizontal timeline that we were working with, and let's just delete this together and we'll delete the gap clip. We'll navigate back up to the quotes, grab it, drop it into the timeline, and again, drag it out to about 30 seconds. Now, we're still going to go ahead, right click, make this a new compound clip, and we'll call this one horizontal test because, better yet, horizontal no gap. And then we're going to click OK. We're going to do the same thing, make sure it's highlighted, Command C to copy, jump back over to our vertical frame. Let's go ahead and delete what we were working with and click paste, Command V. When we created the other clip with no gap background layer, it was created in the main timeline layer. When we pasted it into the timeline where we want to work with it, Final Cut pasted it into the same place we designed it previously, which created a problem. It split our background clip. So now that I've shown you why I like working with a gap clip as the base layer, let's go back in so I can show you other ways to take advantage of this solution. So we'll go back into the horizontal clip here. And as you can see, my gap layer is in place. And this time it's dragged out to 20 seconds. Now the same process as before. Let's go back and grab the same quote just for consistency drag it out to the full 20 seconds. And now I'm going to start looking at other clips or other titles and generators that I think I might want to use in this vertical video that I'm working on. So I like that one. Let's go back up to the one that I demonstrated earlier in the video and the centered yellow text that's right here. And we'll drag that one in place and drag it out as well. Got a little bit of skip. And now let's go down and grab some of those generators. So we use this infographic before and we'll drag it through. And maybe there's another one I want to use as well. Again, I'm going to try to pick ones that are obviously horizontal in orientation. Scroll back down here and we'll use uh, this chart right here. And I'll grab it and put it at the top of the timeline as well. Get rid of that snafu and drag it all the way out. Now, I've got all these stacked on top of each other. Some of these aren't transparent layers, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to show you how to get around it right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab all of the layers and we're going to create a new compound clip. We'll just let it be horizontal clip two for speed purposes. And now if I click on this, it'll take me inside the compound clip. Since I want to work with the quote layer first, we're going to make that layer visible and all the other ones invisible. So we'll simply click on each of the other ones and press V to make those layers invisible. Now we'll go back out to the compound clip, command C, navigate back over to our vertical. So then I'm going to paste that compound clip on my video layer. And as you can see, it does what it's supposed to do. And because the other layers are invisible, we're only seeing the main layer that we have showing. So if I click on the little compound click layer here, we'll go inside. And now let's say I want to see what the other text looks like. Turn that layer on, 
this layer off again using V and simply back out. And now we can watch the other animation play out. And click the space bar and let it play through. And then there we go. So we'll decide, okay, we like that one. Let's see what the other ones look like. As you can guess it, back into the compound clip icon, go back through here and turn that layer off. And now we'll turn on, say, this top infographic, back out. And as we drag through the play, that particular generator is now on display. And there you have it, guys, a surprisingly simple and efficient solution to using horizontally oriented title animations and generators in your vertical projects. It doesn't require any third-party plugins. It doesn't require you that you know or learn how to use additional software, and it gives you access to all your existing titles and generators. I hope you found this helpful. If you know of a way to work with these using the control panels on the right-hand side that I somehow missed in all my digging around, please share it in the comments below. But as of late December, 2022, this is the simplest and most convenient solution to this problem that has had me tearing my hair out for a couple of weeks now. And I hope that this solution helps you in all your content creation as well. well that's gonna do it guys. Until the next time, be safe and God bless.